hi welcome to this episode in this episode we'll talk about how peter macoma a super bitcoin holder turned thirty thousand dollars into one million dollars wow and you know what he lost all the money if you're new to this channel kindly hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell because we are going to interview peter macoma and he's going to tell us his story of how he made so much money in cryptocurrency if you're really serious about investing in cryptocurrency and learning how to trade cryptocurrencies the right way, I would like you to check the link on the description and get proper signals on how to create cryptocurrencies. My name is Ferdinand. And Let's get started. So Peter, how were you able to make $1 million from trading Bitcoin? It was just wild. It, 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 it's really hard to explain it to an outsider, these cryptocurrencies just kept going up in value, just every single one. It didn't matter which one you bought, it just went up. And, and turning $30,000 into over a million dollars in the space of 10, 11 months, it was hard to get your head around. Oh, wow, that's great. But what informed your investment decision? Was it a game of luck or there is a secret you want to share with us? I was very lucky and I got in early and... Okay, but well, what was your goal? Were you satisfied with one million dollars or you wanted more? Yeah, it wasn't going to stop at a million. I was going to make five, ten million. Yeah, that didn't, it didn't work out like that. Mm -hmm. So when exactly did you invest in Bitcoin? Were you among the early adopters of Bitcoin or probably cryptocurrency? Can you tell us? The first time I bought Bitcoin was back in 2012. Uh, one of my friends phoned me up and said, Pete, there's this website you can buy drugs. It's like Amazon, but for drugs. Weed, heroin, cocaine, crack, like every single drug you could think of. Wow. I was like, okay, <laughs> I'm gonna buy some weed. <laughs> so, uh, so, but I had to get some Bitcoin. So I went on to local Bitcoins and then I bought some. <laughs> right, I have a question about, about the website to, to buy drugs from, but, but hey, that's, that's a story for another day. Now, let me ask you a question. Apart from Bitcoin, which other cryptocurrency did you invest in? Ethereum seemed to me like there was this new flourishing crypto industry, whereas before it was just Bitcoin when I'm you know, back in 2012, 13. Ethereum is the do-it-yourself platform for decentralized programs, also known as dApps, decentralized applications. And I was like, okay, this sounds kind of interesting. I think I'm going to invest. Okay, so for how long did you trade and you were able to make $1 million. I'm kind of curious, and how much was your uh, initial capital when you, you, you started? Probably at least a year, close to a year trading. Very, it's got a kind of a wild year really. I'm, I put $32,000, I think 25,000 pounds at the time in. I bought a bunch of Bitcoin and, and a bunch of Ethereum, you know, and the Ethereum I bought was like $9 when I bought it, and then it rockets up to $150, and I bought all these other cryptocurrencies, and just, I was never, I've never made so much money in my life. You know, I was, there were some days you'd go to bed and you wake up, you've made 10, 15, 20 thousand dollars, you know, <laughs> what the hell's going on here? It was a wild year, you know, I, I think at its peak, I traded that, you know, $32,000 up to equivalent of about $1.2 million. Wow, that's a lot of money. So, but, but what happened after that? I guess you had a lot of money to spend. You know, I was traveling, I was traveling out to America a lot. I bought a new car, I bought a watch. I was treating my family to things. I was you know, giving money to my family. I've gone out to dinner. I was just living this really kind of good life. Wow, a lot of money brings happiness and takes away the stress of life. But you know, sometimes when you make too much money and you don't control your emotions or the way you spend money, you may do some things that, that, may, that may look crazy, right? Was that the case for you? Did you make any bad decision or did you dream about doing things in a way that you could never imagine because you had the money? Can you tell us? <laughs> Genuinely, I made an inquiry to buy Bedford Town Football Club, which is where I live. It's just a small crap town. Our football team's crap. <laughs> I always kind of thought, I, I want to own it. So I made an inquiry about buying that. Um, yeah, just stupid, moronic things, really. <laughs> I guess, I guess if, if, if you had not spent the whole money traveling and probably having fun and buying stuff, I don't know. 
but if you had not spent that money you would have had a lot of money to buy the football club <laughs> but did you forget that cryptocurrencies are highly volatile i didn't know that these kind of markets went in cycles and i i wasn't prepared for the end of the market so what was your major drawback how did you lose the whole money in i think it was january 2018 the market crashed and the value of my cryptocurrency holdings just it just dropped quite heavily but i kept thinking it would come back but it didn't it just kind of kept getting worse and worse and worse and you know by mid 2018 pretty much everything i made pretty much everything i made had gone so guys that's the story of peter mccormack he made one million dollars trading bitcoin from thirty thousand dollars and he had a lot of fun with his money but you know what he lost all the money and the major factor why he lost the money is because of the volatility of the market this is lying to most people who want to make some money in bitcoin oh yeah yeah they spend so much but that's not even the point you need to understand the market and know that the market can be very very funny it could be bearish it could be bullish you know so once you understand the market movement you are really really going to know how to manage your assets but if you're starting out with bitcoin you need to learn to hold your asset for a long time right sometimes you need to invest and probably forget about what you have inside and wait for market analysts to predict so that you can you know if you know candlestick analysis is fine but if you don't know you need to depend on the, the market ana analyst to tell you what's happening in the market but just be rest assured that you cannot lose money in bitcoin if you hold bitcoin for a minimum of four years there is always a simple moving average and this happens every four years so if you love this channel hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell and before you go if you want to learn how to trade bitcoin the right way and increase your chances of profitability and remove all the guesswork check the link on the description of this video mm -hmm.